What up guys, SuperMetal983 here, here to bring you another CD review, and this is another 2016 release that I really urge you to check out. This is honestly an absolute flawless album, fucking mint. But anyway, let's get on with it, this is what we're going to be reviewing today. Yeah, this is the 2016 album from the band Gorgira, entitled Magma, this is released under Roadrunner Records. Now, Gorgira are one of the... The big names in progressive death metal, progressive groove metal, whatever you want to classify them as. Um, they've got loads of fans around the world, and I myself am a massive fan of them. I love the aspect that they've got of simple, heavy, grooving riffage, but with um, progressive drums behind there, but creating a very melodic, but very smooth delivery behind it, if you know what I'm... If you've listened to Gorgia, you'll know exactly what I mean, that... There's no other band that sounds like them. Gorgira is Gorgira. There's no other band that sounds like them or delivers on any level what they pull off. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, this is the band's sixth full-length album. Um, I, myself, have a total now of five of their albums. I only need their debut album uh, to complete their discography, but you get the idea. But anyway, um, where do we begin? Um... Obviously, Let Enfant Sauvage um, came out in 2012, and obviously, as you know, I didn't do my top albums of 2012, and I so wish I did, because that was one of my favourite years when it came to metal, there was loads of great releases, and I have to say, Let Enfant Sauvage was probably up there in, without a shadow of doubt, the top three, or even top five, well, I've been meaning to, like, put a list together, you know, to see what would have come where, but moving on. But it's been a while since that album came out, and Gorgia has been uh, teasing that they've been working on some new material for the past couple of years now. And it's really built up a very much hype about the album. And when they finally announced that Magma was going to come out, I was instantly excited. And um, when they dropped the first track, I believe was called... Um, uh, Stranded, I think that was the first one they released. Um, I fell in love with that track straight away and it made us even more excited for the album itself. And then a couple of days ago when the album got unleashed, I picked it up and I, when I was in Manchester with my girlfriend. And upon first listen, I was in pretty much a trance, you could say, of just like a smile, just a constant smile on my face and being like, this is Gorgera bringing what Gorgera done and have done since the beginning. What more can I say? Absolutely fantastic album. Gorgera uh, have just pulled out all the stocks with this album, bringing the riffs, the meaty fucking riffs that I've always brought from from day one. Uh, that's what I've always loved about Gorgera is the heavy fucking groovy riffs they're not they're not anything technical they're nothing like you know how could i say like tech as fuck you know like loads of like notes being hit at any given time um it's it's just simple groove riff it's it's nothing um spectacular but that's what makes gorgira a characteristic band you know what i mean like there's loads of bands that can play like their the the heaviest of riffs and the fastest of riffs, but Gorgia managed to pull off the simplest of riffs with the least amount of movements on the fretboard and make it sound huge and monumental. And that's absolutely fantastic that Gorgia has managed to pull that off yet again and bring forth the the heaviness. It's fucking amazing if you ask me. Um, the drum work is you. Yeah, your stereotypical gorge era. There's simple bits when there needs to be simple bits, but then there's some there's some bits like like on every gorge era album. There's always been like a techie drum pattern, um, going on and very progressive like odd timings and stuff like that. But then there's a straight like four four rhythm over the top of of a really techie drum fill, which shouldn't work, but it does. It's gorge era. They've managed they managed to pull that off every album and it blows my mind how good it is and it stays in time and just blows your mind honestly i absolutely love the drum work on this album and the guitar work it just 
collaborates so fucking well. And I've always loved its its simplicity and just character. It's just amazing. Um, just full of meaty riffs. and But there's always those melodic passages that Gorgera has always brought forth where it's like, it sounds odd, but it sounds fucking mint, if you know what I mean. It's It still keeps some melodic value, but still keeps the heavy riffage. There's, there's a great breaks on this album between heavy, meaty as fuck riffs and melodic, as if powerful riffage that creates a great atmosphere across this entire album. And if you listen to the album, you'll know exactly what I mean. And by the way, there'll be links in the description so you can check out what I mean. Bass work. Now, Gorgera has a distorted bass tone, and normally I'm not a big fan of it, but the distorted tone on Gorgera's records have always managed to pump those guitar riffs and make them sound chunky and meaty as fuck. And I absolutely love the bass tone on this album. The, I think it's the song um, Yellowstone. I think that's the um, break track. Uh, yep, Yellowstone. I'm just checking back there. Um, that uh, break with that bass um, tone, it it's kind of sings in a way, um, but still keeps it a bit of a, a, a rough edge to that bass tone. And it really adds the aspect of the entire record and pumps it up that heavy, heavy riffage all the more. And what more can I say? There's great bass tones being used on this album and I absolutely love it. And vocally. Now, the vocals is... is like a, It's kind of like a, a sophomore kind of death metal approach, you could say. It's it's got some real edge to the growls and the and the harsh vocals that that really um, keep some power and intensity to the record. But then there's some like like kind of half screams like like as if shouting um, half screams on the song. I believe it's um, Sil Sil Silvera. I think that's how you pronounce it. And when you hear that track, you just think to yourself, wow, that's some real dynamic power coming from those vocals. And I've always loved that about um, the vocals. They've always been on a great delivery, and you can feel the emotion coming from it and the power coming from it. And then, obviously, on this first song, the, the shooting star, you get some really beautiful cleans being executed here. And it really... Shows a bit more diversity to Gorgera, and I would like to see some more cleans coming in a bit more in the future, like some sophomore cleans. Like, there's always some on the Gorgera album, and there's some across these. I just would like to see some some more melodic passages being pushed in a little bit more. And it doesn't anyway downgrade this album because this is easily a flawless album. And spoiler alert to the end of the review, but moving on. But I would like to see some more pushes with the melodicness. Um, but I've, I honestly have to say, this record is fucking phenomenal. And the, it just makes you smile. It just It's a good time record. It makes you want to put it on repeat. And no matter how many times you listen to it, and I've listened to this album about 15 times since it came out, that many times, I've listened to it, and it never, ever gets boring. I want to put it on repeat and repeat and repeat. And it's just... It still blows my mind. Honestly, check out... Lo there's loads of great songs in this album. Um, if I had to pick a couple, Silvera, Stranded, and Pr Pray is probably my favourite song on this album. There's a bit of a kind of Meshuggah kind of feel to it on on um, that track, and I absolutely love Meshuggah, and I can't wait for the new album. A little bit of a digress, what can I say? But honestly, check out this album. This is absolutely phenomenal. A great standout in the Gorgia discography. Um, I'm honestly... Uh, in love with this album it i know within destruction is currently my number one album of the year this is currently number two but i have a feeling comes year come years in i'm gonna be ripping me hair out trying to decide between these two because this is grown just gets better and better with every listen same for within destruction but anyway, this is an absolute flawless album, and for that reason alone, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Another 10 out of 10 record for this year. Absolutely fantastic. I fucking love this album. And Gorgera have returned once again. Hopefully, they don't wait another 
four years before releasing another album. I need more Gorgera. <laughs> what can I say? And I'm hoping I get to see them when they come on the UK tour. Um, I don't know who's going to be touring with them or if they're even indeed going to do a UK tour, but I'm hoping that they do. But yeah, this album is absolutely fantastic. Check it out. Links in the description of where you can check out the album. Well, check out some tracks from the album and the Facebooks and all that. Check it out. Link down below and... Yep, I'm going to give it a solid 10 out of 10. There's nothing, there's no bullshit on this album. This is just pure greatness. I absolutely love it. So yeah, check out this epic album. I'll see you until the next video. Remember, check out the links in the description. I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal, and I'll see you later.